It's springtime in Lexington. It's crazy. Crazy might not be so much of a negative for this mother. Lizzie's the middle one. Of three. Yeah. Amy Griffith's priorities are in order. <laughs> my kids, my kids, yeah. Three kids, um, three, six, and eight. Between those responsibilities, she still finds time for herself. It is like therapy to kind of have a hobby that you can have as an outlet. This room is a product of countless productive therapy sessions. One stroke of the brush puts peace to print. Horse people know their horses. Picturesque Kentucky put to canvas a talent that has grown along with her. The Derby thing kind of propelled me and, and challenged me, you know, um, to try new things and to push myself. She's the artist behind the official art of the Kentucky Derby for the 148th running. Happy energy, and that's what I wanted um, wanted it to be. When they connect with the horses and they kind of get that energy, it, it means a lot to me too. Born and raised in Bardstown, Griffith's life has taken her outside our beautiful state, as close as North Carolina as far as Australia. I took a class, um, just like one of those where they show you step by step how to paint, and it was watercolors. And ever since then, I just was always thinking about it. And little Lizzie was right by her side from just about the very start. I started painting when she was one, 2016. It's like therapy. I just love um, kind of sitting down and working through a painting. The product of that now is on world display, something that almost didn't happen. It was a time when I was not really painting anymore. I just, with COVID and all the kids being home, I didn't have a lot of time. The Derby brings joy to fans near and far. It helped Griffith reunite with her love, talent, and passion. When the Derby thing happened, it was almost like kind of fate, just saying, this is what you should be doing. This is what you need to be doing. And then ever since then, um, gosh, I think like most of the paintings in this room,